Okay, so now we're gonna talk about measuring confluency. Sorry, it took me a minute there. Um, and so we're gonna talk about measuring confluency and essentially measuring confluency is generally used when you have like a lot of cells or something like that and you wanna see um, what kind of area those cells are taking of your total image or total, total um, for example, your cell plate. So um, first we're gonna start with file, open, um, an image. So here I just have a plate which has a ton of cells on it. Um, so I'm gonna put a little smaller. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is make this black and white. So you're going to go to um, edit image type 8-bit and by clicking 8-bit, um, you will be able to convert your image to black and white here. Sorry. <laughs> you'll be able to convert it to black and white. Um, sorry, I just wanna move this to make it smaller so that you guys can also see the instructions. Okay, and then you want to identify the edges of your image. So you're gonna go to process and then find edges. And so here you'll see that it like kind of highlights the outside of the plate. So that's how you know it's like selecting just the part um, you want. And then we're gonna do what Anthony was talking about doing thresholding. So you're gonna go to image, adjust threshold. So when you do this, you can see, um, you would have to change this so it selects all the cells. So when you feel like it's selecting most of the cells, so like something like this, you would do set, um, okay apply and then um, here all the cells are actually white so we want to make sure to invert it so edit invert and so now all our cells are black which is what we want in order to find the confluency so we're going to go to analyze um, histogram and then here we're going to click list and so essentially what the list does is give us two numbers and so the number down on here is the um, amount of cells in total and then the amount the number up here is the amount of, amount of pixels in black so it's going to give us the amount of pixels in black versus the total amount of pixels and then you can divide those numbers and multiply by 100 to find like the, the ratio of black pixels on this on the picture which is essentially the amount of pixels that are cells okay and then don't save. Okay. And then 